Hi, RLA Jack here with my second to last video in my Major C series. I know that I was sort of done after last time, but I noticed that I could have really gone a bit more into computing sizes and matrices, and specifically into sort of trying to give you some more specific ideas about um, the different operations on matrices described in 0 0.2. I'm not totally sure I went through all those in my first three videos, and I definitely didn't go through size quite enough, so let's get started. So in this video, I'll just be talking about size and its close companion, numel. So I'm going to do um, make a matrix, maybe A. I'm going to make it maybe my favorite matrix because it's super easy to type. And then I ask um, size of A. And if you see my previous videos, you'll notice it returns a, a row vector with first the number of rows, that are then the number of columns. Um, and I think we already knew that. But what I didn't tell you last time was that you can actually add a second argument to ask which dimension you want your size for. So you can do size of a comma one, and it'll just give you the number of rows or the first element from size of a. Um, you can do size of a comma two, it'll give you the number of columns. And actually, if you try and go to higher dimensions, actually all matrices in MATLAB are technically infinite dimensional um, arrays, but if you do this, they'll actually all return one, as high as you go. So that's, that's probably enough for size. Um, it's really nice whenever you're uh, going through your matrices and you might be iterating through every row in it, or you might be iterating through every column, and you don't totally know how many of them there are. Size is a great way to figure out how many rows or how many columns you have. Um, one last note on size, so you can actually use another command called numel, N-U-M-E-L, of A, and it'll give you the number of elements in A. Um, and this will always return a single scalar. Um, to my knowledge, there aren't any additional input arguments, but it is, you know, what it is. All right, so that's it for this quick video. Um, and next time, I'm going to come back with a quick rundown of pretty much everything you need to know about matrices at this point in the course. Okay, bye.